Project management in Notion is actually really awesome because we can take advantage of using database templates. And so instead of having to create the same project over and over and over from scratch, we can just use the template to pre-populate that page with the structure and some of the items that we really want. And maybe you've run into this common block of how to actually use templated tasks in a project template. And this is really important for people who have a project that is kind of set up the same and they want to recreate it multiple times over and over, but they want to create a new set of tasks for that new project. And there are a few creative ways for actually doing this really well in Notion without much work or much effort. And I want to show you those ways. The first way is probably the easiest one and that's actually using buttons. And then if buttons don't quite cut it for you, I wanna show you uh, maybe even a, a better, more robust way to do this. And so you'll, you'll see what I mean, let's jump into it. So I'm looking at a fake company uh, dedicated to going to the moon and we will jump into the project manager and let's create a new project. Actually, if you're familiar with uh, perspectives, this might be some new stuff, but I'm not gonna get into it in this video. I'm playing around with some, some new ways of, of building. But let's make a new project. So I just made a new project, and this is a very simple um, template. I mean, it's just you know the info and then the tasks. And this is kind of the common setup right here with the tasks where the filter is set to that new project. And so if this one is, you know, develop, lander, you'll see that that filter actually changed. So I'm not gonna show you this in too much detail, but just as a refresher, you can see that I'm now in the template in Lunar Projects, and this filter is set to new project, which is the template. So if I do something like this, you'll see that that updates. But as soon as I make a new project with that template, that filter will update. Here's the problem. You cannot uh, pre-fill this with tasks that you want to then be created net new when you create this project template. So if I did a new task, you know, task A, and we go back, well, now it's not even showing up, but that task A uh, is now showing up as a task. Now, when I, when I create a new project, uh, it's just, I think they, they did this to kind of stop you from uh, from accidentally doing this, thinking that this is, this works, because a lot of people get tripped up on this. It used to actually show up here. It doesn't show up anymore. But the, all that's to say that this task does not relate to the template or a project anymore. Um, and we want to create a way of making a new project really easily with the template and then pre-populating it with tasks that you want to complete for that given project. And so, Maybe develop lander isn't uh, the right project because you're probably only gonna develop the lander once. Maybe we do like uh, lunar sample research. So maybe this project is repeatable and so this company is going to continually research these, these samples from the surface of the moon and they want to uh, do this over and over and over but they have a preset list of tasks for this particular kind of project. We might actually create, instead of creating that new project like this, we might actually create a new project template for it. So I'm gonna create a new one. Let's duplicate it from that previous one since it's you know, a good starting point. And we'll call this Lunar Soil Research. So now we have this as a template option right here. Uh, separate from the new project template, which this one could be just like a, a general project, more of a one-off project, if you will. And so now uh, let's start over. I want to be able to click this Lunar Soil Research one and be able to really easily get a list of tasks to come with it. So the first option that I wanna show you is a button. So you'll notice that we're editing the template and what I want to do is provide myself a button so that when I actually create the project, I can click the button and it populates those tasks. So we can do slash button and we'll call this one template tasks. And then we will uh, add some actions. And so what we want to do is 
add pages to right here or page, select the database. We're gonna do lunar tasks, that's my task database. And then let's say break up sample is the first task. There's not really any uh, properties involved in this, but what we wanna do is relate this to the project. And this is the key right here. This is what makes this easy. This is uh, anytime you see these kind of blue outlined with the little Sherlock Holmes magnifying glass, this is kind of a dynamic uh, option. And so this page means this template page. And so I wanna actually choose that one. And then if there were any other properties, like maybe assignees or, or departments or, or things like that, tools needed, uh, we could also add those properties to this task. And so what we wanna do is then go through and just do this again. Or I could come over here and press this little three dot uh, square and then just duplicate below. And then I could do synthesize. <laughs> Clearly, I'm not a, uh, a scientist or a researcher. And then I could do it again. Uh, duplicate below, sanitize. Okay, so you, you see how this goes. I'm creating this list of tasks within the button, so that way when I create the project, I can click the button. So let's add like a little plus button or plus sign. That way it's a little easier to see. Now let's drop this down here. And we've kind of set up this project template and then let's see how it actually goes. Okay, so now we can create a new project with that template. I press the plus button and you'll, you'll see that it just kind of automatically applied this general project template. And that's because I have that set as a default template for, for all views and, and includes this view. And so what I wanna do is, is maybe take off that default or maybe do empty set as default for all views. And then when I create a new one, I want to choose Lunar Soil Research. Well, believe it or not, uh, life happens and the rest of this video did not record even though I kept talking as if it was recording because my camera stopped recording and I, I had no idea. So. I finished out the rest of this video and instead of deleting all this stuff and uh, starting trying to start over from wherever I left off, I, I know kind of where I left off of, I'm just gonna finish out this video with the rest of this stuff here. Just wanted to explain why uh, all of a sudden this is here. And what I was doing was showing you uh, after I had created the template button, what it looks like to create a new project. And so we're, we're gonna create a new one and we're gonna use this lunar soil research template that we created. And so we'll, we'll call it soil sample one, lunar soil research. And this is, the, this is what I'm gonna show you after this. But what we did was we created a button and inside that button is all those template tasks. So I'm gonna press this button. And what do you know? I've got all these tasks that populated and they are automatically related to the project and, um, and we're good to go. And so this is a great way, a great easy way to populate a new project with template tasks. And uh, they show up in that main task database along with all of the other tasks, even though they all belong to different projects. Maybe I should have done soil sample three, but you get the point. So this is really good because uh, what we can do is do a little bit of work ahead of time when we're actually editing the template of the project and we go into this button, it, it takes a second to kind of fill this out, but once you've filled it out, you're, you're good to go. And especially when you start adding in other properties, um, you wanna make sure that you just kind of fill these out ahead of time, and then every time you press that button, you're good to go. Now, the reason why there's another option that I wanna show you is because sometimes this list can get really kind of long and hard to manage or just kind of maybe even confusing to you. And so I wanna show you a different option, but this other option kind of gives you a moment to look over the list before you bring it into the actual task database. And that is by creating a, a table within the template itself. So when we're looking at this lunar soil research template, <clears throat> This task database is a linked view, so the database doesn't actually live here. So every time we create a new project, it's not creating a new task database, it's just bringing in a view of the actual task database. However, this one down here is an actual table. You know, we can type in slash table, do a table view, and then a new database. This is a new database. It lives in the template. It's, it's possible for a, a table to live in the template. 
And so now I'm gonna start filling out those tasks from this table and I can start adding in properties that I want to carry over into the actual task database. It is possible to drag items from one table into another table. The trick is we just wanna make sure that we title the, the columns the same, that they're the same column type as well, and that we, uh, if there are options, in this case like the tag, I wanna make sure that all of these options are also, they also match the options up in the actual task database. Make sure they're all spelled the same. The color does not matter, uh, but we just wanna make sure that when we drag this one into the, the task database, that it's going to understand and be able to apply those options and things when you drag them over. Actually, I want to maybe even clean this up a little bit. Let's add a toggle and do template tasks and drag this in here. And that way, once we're done with it, we're not just you know left to deal with this kind of blank table at the bottom of our project. Of course, you can delete it and you can delete the toggle as well, but just a, a way of kind of minimizing that noise. And let's do one more. Let's, let's call this one soil sample three. This one, instead of pressing the button, we're going to take that, that table that we made and we're gonna drag all of these into the task database up here. So an easy way to do this is you, you can drag in and do this, um, but you can also hover over this square right here and just click it and that means select all and then hover over one of the menus on one of the tasks. It doesn't matter which one, just hold it and then we drag it up into that task database. And you can see that because of the filter, which is project is soil sample three, it applied the project to those tasks when I dragged it in. These, these ones were not related to the project, but because I dragged it into that one with the filter, it understands to apply that relation so that it fits that filter criteria. And then even some of the options that I had in, included were carried over into this one because I had them created and matched. And so now uh, what you have is the ability to look over the template tasks and and maybe even modify them. Maybe there's like assignees that you wanna assign or uh, dates that you want to kind of modify depending on the project. You can do all of that before you drag it into the, uh, the actual task database. And so this is a, a little bit more of a robust option. Um, not to say that buttons can't do this, but they can kind of feel like a lot and that list gets really long. And so this is a, a very familiar way to kind of build out your template task list using a, a table within the template. And that way you can just drag and drop those in there as part of the process of creating a new project. And that should do it. That is template tasks for template projects. That's a mouthful. Um, but it's all about giving you the tool to do the workflow that you need. And until Notion gives us a more native way of doing this, it's great that we have these kind of little workarounds and tweaks uh, for being able to create those template tasks with you know a click or two. Um, it's not automatic, but it literally just takes one, one or two clicks and you're good to go. And so I think this is a great uh, alternative or great compromise to get you going on your projects and your template tasks. And uh, you know, leave a comment. Let me know, know what you think. If you have a, another way of doing this, I'm I'm all for hearing new ideas and uh, any questions. Definitely leave them in the comments, and I'll be sure to get back to you. You know all the good stuff. Press the like button, and um, you know, do that.